Okay, everybody, I'm Jay here. I am going to show you how to do the fine tuning setups of a Facebook group. You've decided on a group, you've got a banner created, and you've got a name of your group, and you know what your subject matter is, so you're ready to get the fine tuning done with setting up the rules. So here we go. Once you have your group set up, on the left side of your group where you will see about discussion units or however you have it arranged, members, events, so on and so forth, depending on the kind of group you're running. Go down to moderate group. So you're going to open moderate group. And when that opens up, you will see admin activity. It says select the dates of the activity you want to review. This is where if you have um, had somebody violate your rules in your group and you've taken action, that's where you can um, handle it in here. And you can look at uh, how many admins and moderators you have. You can look at the members and so on. But what you want to do is on the left here, it says admin activity. So you've got pending posts. So maybe you want to come in once a week or whatever to approve posts because you've got your group set where not everybody can post, that they have to be approved. You can create topics for your posts here. You can uh, check to see what posts you have scheduled. You can have member requests. You can go in here if this is where, you know, if you have a lot of members coming in and, and wanting to join your group, that's where you can handle them all at one time. You can uh, go to approval of notifications. And here you can create rules. So if you click on that, this will open up. And as you look down below, this gives you a sample of the rules that Facebook has put in just as the basic minimums that they technically, that they require that you be kind and courteous, that you don't have any hate speech or bullying, no promotions or spam, and respecting everyone's privacy. So they've kind of given you some. So to set yours up, you're gonna go create or get started, and here you can write your own rules. You can go here and say, okay, I'm gonna write my own rule. You write your own rule, and you make it a title, and you type it in, and then you do the description. It has a limit of how much, how many characters you can have. I'm going to cancel that. So here's the examples that they have. So I'm going to go and I'm going to get started. And I'm going to, right now, these are the rules that I have in here. So here's the be kind and courteous one. And I'm going to say, we're all in this together to create a welcoming environment. Let's treat everyone with respect. Healthy debates are natural, but kindness is required. And I'm going to say, positive comments. Let's see, no negative comments accepted because you're limited on the number of characters. So I'm gonna to add to this one. We don't want people coming in and posting negative comments to someone's um, uh, post. Okay, now for some reason it's given me two, so I'm going to delete that rule. I don't know why it did that. So you just kind of have to play around with it, I guess, a little bit here. So I can go, okay, I wanna use be kind and courteous. Confirm, create a rule, no hate speech or bullying, I want that one. Confirm, create a rule, no promotions or spam. Confirm, create a rule, respect everyone's privacy, confirm. Now, if you want to edit it, you go back in and you can say, we're all in this together to create a welcoming environment. Let's treat everyone with respect. Healthy debates are natural, but kindness is required. I'm just going to say avoid negative comments. And I'm going to confirm. 
Now this one, no hate speech, be sure everyone feels safe, bullying of any kind isn't allowed, and degrading comments about things like race, religion, culture, sexual orientation, gender, or identity will not be tolerated. No promotions or spam. Give more than you take to this group. Self-promotion, I'm just gonna say, promotions allowed only on designated days and under okay under see if it'll let me that post and i'm going to confirm and then respect everyone's privacy being part of this group requires now if you've got a specifics like my build it big with mj group we were doing a five-day uh, facebook live challenge in the group and everybody was so pleased to be able to come in in a safe space and do their practice so we made it a perpetual facebook live group so i added a rule about if you do your facebook lives in that group no promotions is allowed through your video then you go down here you got membership questions and this is where you can put in the questions that you require your audience to ask or audience to answer or you won't let them in and then if a member reported something that that's where you'll find it if there's any auto flagged items that's where you'll find it if you have specific words that you tend to see that you do not want people using in your group you can go up here and go edit keywords and you can add keywords so that if someone comes in and uses that specific word um it will block their it'll it'll say this content is not available like i'm going to use the word buy um so if someone's creating a post and say it says i am an affiliate marketer i'm in network marketing or i'm in social media um it'll alert me that somebody's used those words i believe i'm not real sure if it will block the the post or not so anyway that's where you do whatever you need to do to set up your group you go over here to moderate group and um You can find everything that you need to do to finish cleaning up your group and getting it set up. Okay, so I hope this is helpful and that you find benefit. And if you have any questions, be sure to feel free to chop, pop it in the, the chat box and let me know if you need help with anything. Have a great evening.